The year is 30 AD. Imagine a land bathed in the golden light of the eastern Mediterranean sun. This is Judea, a land rich in history and faith, but also a land under the iron fist of the Roman Empire. Judea, a small province within the vast Roman Empire, pulsates with a unique energy. Its people, the Jews, cling fiercely to their traditions and yearn for a king promised by ancient prophets. Roman influence is inescapable. Towering aqueducts, symbols of Roman engineering, cut across the landscape, a stark contrast to the humble dwellings of Judean peasants. The air buzzes with a mix of Aramaic, the language of the common folk, and Latin, the tongue of the Roman officials and soldiers. Life in first century Judea is a tapestry woven with threads of simplicity and hardship. The rooster's crow signals the break of dawn and with it the start of another day for the Judean people. Most are farmers and shepherds, their lives dictated by the rhythms of nature. They work the land with simple tools, their backs bent under the scorching sun. In the bustling marketplaces, artisans display their wares, pottery, textiles, spices from distant lands. The aroma of freshly baked bread mingles with the scent of incense burning in nearby homes. Families gather for meals of bread, olives and fruits. Their conversations a mix of worries about the harvest and whispers of a coming messiah. Rome's power casts a long shadow over Judea. The Roman governor, Pontius Pilate, rules with an iron fist from his headquarters in Caesarea Maritima. Roman legions, symbols of power and oppression, maintain a watchful presence, their standards bearing the emblem of the eagle, a constant reminder of Rome's dominion. The Jewish people, yearning for self-rule, seethe under Roman taxation and the suppression of their religious practices. The Sanhedrin, the Jewish council, holds some measure of authority, but its power is limited. Religious leaders, such as the Pharisees and Sadducees, navigate the treacherous waters of Roman rule while trying to uphold Jewish law. Section 4, Society's Fabric, a world of divisions, Judean society is a complex web of social strata. At the top stand the wealthy elite, often landowners and merchants who benefit from Roman rule. Below them are the artisans and traders, the backbone of the marketplace. The majority of Judeans, however, toil as farmers and shepherds, their lives dictated by the land. Religious distinctions also divide the Jewish people. The Pharisees, known for their strict adherence to the law, clash with the more liberal Sadducees. The Essenes, a reclusive sect, choose a life of isolation and spiritual purity in the desert. Section 5. Faith and Tradition, the Pulse of Judea. Despite Roman rule, Jewish faith burns brightly. The Temple in Jerusalem, the holiest site in Judaism, stands as a beacon of hope and a symbol of God's covenant with his people. Pilgrims from across Judea flock to Jerusalem for religious festivals like Passover, Pentecost and Tabernacles, their chants and prayers echoing through the temple's courtyards. Synagogues dot the landscape, serving as places of worship, study and community gatherings. Rabbis, the keepers of Jewish law and tradition, guide their congregations, interpreting scripture and providing spiritual guidance.